Hey guys, welcome to Club UX. In this video, we are going to discuss about one of the most important user research method that is qualitative research. We will discuss what is qualitative research, how to conduct it and pros and cons of qualitative research. We also have a video on what is quantitative research. Go check out that video if you also want to learn on that. Qualitative research is an exploratory type of a research which relies on unstructured and non-numeric data. In qualitative research, UX researcher seeks to directly observe how people use product or service to meet their needs. In qualitative research, data is collected in the form of verbal, behavioral or observational data which is interpreted to get insights. In qualitative research, the researcher tries to understand why people do the things that they do. Qualitative research is conducted to understand user behavior, needs, pain points, motivations and so on. The data that you get is in textual form, which is then interpreted by the UX researcher to get the insights out of it. So to summarize qualitative research, you explore the problems, understand user behavior and you go deep to understand their problem. Some of the ways of conducting qualitative research is by conducting user interviews. User interview is a one-on-one -on -one session between the participant and the researcher and can be conducted in person or even on the virtual basis. And contextual research is also one of the forms of conducting qualitative research. In contextual research, the research is conducted with the participant in the natural environment of the participant. In qualitative research, the questions that are asked are the open-ended questions, which does not stop with a simple yes or no. It usually starts with what, why, how. With this, let's understand the advantages and disadvantages of qualitative research. So the first advantage of qualitative research is that it requires only smaller sample size. In fact, Nielsen suggests to only have your interviews for qualitative research with a sample size of five. Open-ended questions reveals abundant information. So we know that in qualitative research, you don't ask closed-ended questions which just stops with yes or no. Qualitative research is an exploratory kind of a research which depends on exploring the views, the behavior of user in order to get abundant information. You get specific insights with qualitative research. So the researcher who conducts qualitative research is pro in understanding not only the verbal as well as non-verbal communication which they get from their respondents. So it helps them in getting specific insights. The best thing with qualitative research is that it is flexible. So if the qualitative researcher is not getting the required insights from the respondents, they can move on to another tangent and ask some other set of questions because qualitative research is not rigid. It does not depend on a fixed structure, which gives the qualitative research abundant flexibility to play around with their questions. Also, because the researcher directly engages with the user, they get to learn the reasoning behind their user decisions. Also, qualitative research is cost effective and affordable. The research is done with only smaller number of respondents. It makes it cost effective. One of the best things about qualitative research is that it helps the marketing and creative team in formulating their plans. So while targeting a demographic segment, the qualitative research helps marketing teams a lot in order to understand how to target them by getting the information directly from them. Now let's discuss some of the disadvantages of the qualitative research. So qualitative research depends a lot on the knowledge of the researcher. If the researcher does not have the knowledge in the industry where the research is being carried out, then they will not ask the right questions. Even if they ask questions, they would not be able to interpret the answer. So qualitative research relies on the knowledge of the researcher. Also collecting authentic data and interpreting them effectively requires might require multiple sessions. You might not get the authentic representation of the general population with a smaller sample size. So you might have to do multiple session with the respondents. Also, we know that the qualitative research is subjective, which has to be interpreted and the data interpretation might be time consuming. Unlike in quantitative data, where you use mathematical and statistical tools in order to analyze the information. 
and because the data is subjective it has to be interpreted by different people different people have different opinions and different interpretations which can lead to difference in opinions and you may end up having divided opinions when the result is derived the qualitative research difficult to replicate this brings limitation in the scope of information that is derived from the qualitative research qualitative research is not statistically represented so because qualitative research is a perception based approach the results are not statistically represented so it might be difficult on the part of the qualitative researcher to verify and justify the subjective nature of the results guys in this video we learned about what is qualitative research how to do it and advantages and disadvantages of qualitative research we have more videos on our channel on ux research if you want to learn more about ux research go check out our website you will find a lot of articles on that you have any questions you can ask us in the comment section below and subscribe to our channel for more videos on UX research, UX and UI.